uh, about binary system, uh, the digit must be more than 10. That means you can't use your calculator directly. Uh, I'm not going to share some tricks. If you want to find out some tricks which is relevant, then you may find any other channel. But uh, to be honest, it's really difficult for you to use uh, to identify what kind of situation use what kind of tricks. So just simply use general method. It's more secure. And then, uh, if you forget this, the best method is to remind yourself one, two, three, four in your daily life. That means thousand plus two hundred plus thirty plus four, and then that means one time ten power three. This is two time ten power two. This is three time ten power one, and finally, this is four time ten power zero. Why this is 10 is because the base is 10 here. So similarly, if you just have two uh, symbols, 0 and 1, then to decompose it, we just find out this is 2 power of 0. This representing 2 power of 2, 2 power of 1, uh, 2 power of 3, like this. We just simply write down 2 power of 3, 2 power of 6, 2 power of 9, 2 power of 12. And then we can decompose it now. This value is equal to 1 times 2 power of 14. And then plus 2 power 1 times 2 power of 11. And then we have this one. This is power 3, so power 4. 1 times 2 power 4. And then 1 times 2 power 2. Finally, 1 times 2 power 1. So uh, don't forget that we start counting from 0. We do not count from 1. And then uh, 1 here is meaningless because in binary it must be 1 or 0 and you don't write down 0 so it must be 1 here. But in hexadecimal then maybe this is from 1 to uh, E, that means 15. So you better get used to this kind of writing method. So uh, now this is 2 power 14 plus 2 power 11 plus 2 power 10 plus 2 power 4. And then you may find out which one is the corresponding answer. Uh, this number is small enough that you can use your calculator to find out uh, which one is relevant answer. Uh, but if you want to calculate by yourself, it's obvious that these three are one group because they are large. And then you have power of 10, power of 11. So most probably this is talking about power of 10. And then to downgrade it, that means we have to express all the terms in terms of how many times of 2 power of 10. So this is something times 2 power of 10, which is 2 power of 4. So this term, that means we have 16 times of 2 power of 10. This one, we have 2 power of 1 times 2 power of 10. So we have extra 2 times of 2 power of 10. This one is just 1 times power of 10. So we have extra 1 times 2 power of 10. So the, this group in total, 16 plus 2 plus 1 is talking about 19 times 2 power of 10. That's how can you get A or B. Uh, and then the rest, nothing special. You just simply calculate it like a normal number. So you got 22. Uh, that's why the answer should be A. Uh, finally, again, this is a general form, no matter they are the uh, decimal number, binary number, or hexadecimal, we can always decompose it by using this method. 